through life and inspiring you to do the same. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and everybody go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. We're making a balloon wall today. I know I did this before, but today is gonna be the remix. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm about to get started with blowing up my balloons. A lot of these I had left over, but to complete the project, I ordered these butterflies I will use later on and link in the description box below. And then I got all of these balloons here came from Amazon as well, and I will link them below. They're a combination of Quailatex and Treasures Gifted Balloons. This is like a mauve pearl then I have some lavender darker plum purple these are purple orbs balloons and a few leftover silver balloons I had and then I also have some purple marble all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is of course blow up all of our balloons and I have my pump I will also link this in the description box for you guys to check out before you start blowing up balloons you want to make sure you have a plan and a vision of what you want so you can imagine the amount of balloons you're gonna need I don't have a set amount of balloons that I normally use because every time I do a balloon structure, it's always different. They're never the same. I'm gonna blow all the same colors up at the same time and attach them because I know when I do my wall, I want them to be in pretty clusters of the colors. So I'm gonna start off with this metallic purple color. And when you blow up the balloon, as you can see here, it has kind of like a coney shape. And I don't think that's a good idea for balloon garlands unless that's just the look you want, but I think it causes gaps. So what I'm gonna do now is even though this is a 12 inch balloon, I'm not gonna use it to its full capacity. What I typically do is I take it, press it up against my chest, pushing in firmly, and it causes it to get more of a round shape instead of that coney shape. And then I blow up my second one. Shape. And then I'm gonna tie them together. And that's my cluster. So for the organic look, I blow them up in all different shapes, sizes, nothing in particular. I'm just blowing, stopping at different amounts, pushing them in so that they'll have that nice round shape until I finished all of these different colors I have down here. I will check back in with you guys when it's time to start building our wall for today. Hey y'all, so I'm about to blow up my orbs balloons and I wanted to show you guys what they look like because I've never blown up one like these before. Um, I got these off Amazon and uh, like I said, I'll have them linked below, but they're like a very stretchy rubber and it actually has a normal um, balloon entrance here for the air to put it in. And I've blown up some back here as you can see and I figured I would share with you guys, but you blow it up and it's like, just like a really tightly tightly condensed rubber that just stretches with the air. So I'll blow this one up with you guys. All right, so basically you just open up here where I showed you guys a second ago. Place it over your nozzle for the balloons. Then you're gonna have to hold it firmly around the ends because the air will come out. <laughs> So I just give it a pull and then tie it in a knot. The other orbs balloons I normally get are self-sealing, so this is definitely different. 
all right guys so I just finished blowing up all of my balloons and this is <laughs> A lot of balloons so I'm trying to figure out where in the house I'm gonna put the wall I kind of want to do it over here because I feel like the lighting will be good it's about to rain and it's as you can see it's still kind of bright um, and then my dining room is being taken up right now by my floating elephant structure that I showed you guys in the last vlog if you haven't seen that one be sure to go and check it out see if I could zoom you guys in on him a little bit in there but yeah I did a floating elephant He's on clouds and he's holding up the big cloud of balloons. So if you want to see how I did that, be sure to check in on that last vlog. All right, guys. So welcome back. This is where I'm going to be setting up my balloon wall today. And I'm going to get things started. Um, so the only thing you're going to need are your balloons. You're going to need some type of string. I typically use either balloon string or fishing line. And today I will be using some fishing line. It's just a few bucks. Get this for a few bucks out of Walmart or somewhere like that. And so, like I said, I'm gonna be doing this in clusters. And so I'm just gonna be blowing up random patterns that I have this vision in my head. Remember, it's very important to have the vision of what you want inside of your head. So that way when you're stringing your balloons, you know exactly what you need to start with, finish with, same things for all of that. So I'm gonna be starting off with my lighter shade of purple because I know I blew up a ton of those at the beginning. And to get things started, I'm going to take my cluster, I'm gonna take my balloon, my fishing line, which you can't see because it's clear, and I'm gonna tie a knot around the first cluster to get things started. And I like to tie it on a couple times for my first cluster just to make sure everything is gonna be secure and it won't come loose or anything like that. Then after I take my first cluster, I'm gonna get another one. Once you have the balloon tied around your cluster, you're gonna get a second cluster and you're gonna cross them in between each other, almost like making a cross, having your balloons centered. My balloon string is here. Then I'm gonna take the balloon string around the new cluster, bring it back up, and go around an existing cluster. And I'm making like a figure eight motion, and I'm gonna give it a slight gentle tug after I do that, and then I also like to take it around for good measure once I have it. My first one done, and as you can see, the balloons are attached. And then once you do that, you're just gonna continue to add in clusters in different places, crisscrossing them, um, and then you're gonna start to see some formation with your garland. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. I have my original cluster here, so I'm gonna take a new pair and find a gap that I wanna fill. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this one right here. I'm gonna press it in two in between. I'm gonna take my fishing line, wrap it around the new one to secure it. Then I'm gonna come back around an existing balloon like a figure eight, come back up to the center, Give it a slight pull, and again, I like to wrap it around for good measure. Another set here, gonna press it in this gap here. Take it around the new, around an existing, going into motion like a figure eight. Bring it up to the middle and wrap it around for good measure after I give it a slight tug. I'm gonna place this new one on top of this set here. So make sure you guys can see. I'm gonna place the new one on top of this set here in between, going around the new, back around an existing, like a figure eight, bring it up to the center, slight pull around for good measure. And as you can see, this is what it's looking like so far. So I'm gonna keep gathering my balloons and clusters and then we're gonna start placing them how I want it to go over here on this wall. All right guys, so I just finished with my first cluster. So I've zoomed through with you guys. Um, I'm gonna stop at this height. And as you can see behind me probably, I have my pipe and drape stand. Up, you can also use the collapsible ones that I used. I actually used my collapsible one on my original um, balloon wall tutorial. So what I'm gonna do is start by attaching this 
to the pipe and drape stand using balloon string like I typically show you guys how I do it. You can also adhere this to the wall. You can use the balloon string and tacks like I did on my pricing video when I took you guys to set up with me. I showed you guys how I kind of had the balloon string and then I tack it to the wall. You can do that to get your frame done and then attach the balloons to the middle. I'll explain it a little later as I go along, but for, for me to get started on this one, I'm gonna be attaching it to the uh, pipe and drape and we're gonna use balloon string. So I have my balloon string here and I'm just gonna break a piece off. And I'm going to position my garland, figure out which side I want this side to show. So now I'm just gonna take my balloon string, hug it around the garland, and it'll come right through the middle. And then you just tie it tightly to the pole, not too tight because you don't wanna pop your string. And ta-da, it is attached to the pole in that corner. So now I just have to fill out the rest of this piece here and then I'm gonna start bringing the balloons this way. So the next shade that I'm gonna do is gonna be the darker metallic purple balloons. All right guys, so I attached my darker purple to the top and as you can see, I kind of started it to curve this way. It didn't go as long as I thought it was. So I might add a few more to that. And then it just sits right here on top of the lighter purple. There are a few gaps, but that is something that we will definitely be um, filling in towards the end. And then I left the string and hanging there because the next cluster I add, I'm just gonna connect it to that and keep it going and start filling it in. It doesn't look like I have quite enough balloons to do the actual size that I want to do. I will, I only had a few left over because like I said, I used a lot of extra balloons that I had from other events that I did. And I only bought like two new packs of balloons, two or three, the marble, the lavender, the mini ones, and the dark purple ones. So I actually ended up taking my cloud from my previous balloon that I did last Friday. I set that up for you guys. So today is Monday. And as you can see, you guys always ask me about blowing balloons up early and how they're gonna last. So this piece is so crazy because I was like, dang, I don't have enough balloons. Dakota. I was like, dang, I don't have enough balloons. So I feel like blowing up all these balloons because like this isn't for anybody. So I was like, oh, this cloud will work. So I was like, well, I'll just use white because it'll go with the colors. And guys, this, this big piece fits like a puzzle into this piece here. And if you've been noticing, I know I was going through that part pretty fast. All I'm doing is taking the balloon string and then tying um, a pair from a new cluster to an existing cluster and tying it. And then there are going to be a few gaps, but so I'm going to go back in at the end and fill all those ends. Fill all the gaps in. So right now what I'm about to do is just attach this huge cloud piece onto this because it fits perfectly and it's going to keep you from having to blow up a lot of extra balloons that I really don't feel like blowing up, guys. So I'm going to incorporate this white into my purple wall. Hey guys, I am back. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I know I've been speeding through this, but it's gonna be really hard to show you guys exactly what I'm doing, but it's not complicated at all. I did leave some of the balloon string hanging so that you guys can see that all I'm pretty much doing is making clusters and suturing them together using the balloon string, and it's not hard at all. As you can see, I'm gonna cut the string once I'm done, but I do have it in a couple different spaces. But that's all I'm doing is suturing these big clusters together using the um, balloon string, the fishing line, you can use that as well. And then for this big white one to hold it in place, I did take a piece of the balloon string and kind of tie it up to the top so that I can now build around it to keep um, finishing this up. And these are all the balloons that I have left. So I'm gonna finish up with making clusters with those and filling in the rest of the gaps. And I do think it looks really good so far. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working and I will touch base with you guys if something um, important that you guys need to know comes up as I'm doing this, because this is my first time doing it this way. So, and here goes this wild gal here. Say hi, Coda. Hey guys, I'm back and I am all done. 
it could be a little better, but I don't have more balloons in certain colors. So this is as good as it's gonna get for right now. And you can see this corner isn't really, um, it's kind of empty right here. And that's because one of the big purple ones I had, it just kind of disintegrated. My um, finger went into it when I was trying to adjust the balloons and it just kind of shrunk up on it. I could blow up another silver orbs balloon, which I did blow up this one I didn't really want to over here in this corner. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think you guys get the point. The point was to show you guys how to do a balloon wall this way. It was very simple. If I had to do it without filming, I probably would have put the entire thing together on the ground because it would have been a lot easier to um, suture them together with the balloon string or fishing line, whichever you decide to use. But because I was trying to show you guys, I had it standing up. So once I got to certain points, it was kind of hard to get to the back. It probably would have definitely been a lot easier to put it all together on the ground and then stand the whole thing up and attach it around the sides to my pipe and drape set. But either way it goes, I'm all done and I hope you guys enjoyed it. All I have to do now is add my uh, butterflies. And what I'm gonna do is, I um, have to open them first of all. So they're 3D butterfly decorations. It kind of worked out in my opinion that I had to put this white, um, add the white because I didn't have enough, I didn't blow up enough of them. Because now these butterflies are really gonna stand out on the white, whereas they probably wouldn't have stood out as much on the purple. So I'm opening up the balloon, I mean the butterflies, and looks they come flat, so it looks like all you have to do is bend them how you want. They come with a bunch of different sizes. And so, looks like it has some type of adhesive in here. Peel off a piece, stick it here, I'm just, stick it here. My battery's about to die, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do this and let it charge up more so I can show you guys. But it looks like that, I put that adhesive on, and I'm just gonna go and find spots where I wanna put it and stick them onto the balloon. So when I come back, all the butterflies will be on here. My battery's about to die on me. I'll see you guys in a sec. Well guys, that is the final look. I have like 50 more butterflies, but I'm not in the mood to put them on. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed, and please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys on the next vlog. Bye.